No, just a minute. What year was the place? That's right. Uh, 1919, 1920? Oh, uh, 1929. That's right. And you were born in 1913, so you were about 13 years old. No, you were more than 13 when we were working. About 16, rather. 16 was different. Yeah. 16, uh, what, 17, yeah. Do you remember things being tough during those yeah, depression years? Yeah, I didn't feel it. When I we was making $10 a week, cost me 10 cents a day car fare, and I bought my own lunch. Hmm. So t $10 a week. Hmm. My mother says, keep it, it's yours. Yeah. You're working for it, put it away. So we saved it. We didn't spend that money. Hmm. Were you still in school? No. We went out at uh, 16. Pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah, what do you remember about your father? He was very good. We loved him. We only know good things about him. We idolized him. I want to marry a man just like my father. We always mm. said that. Yeah. We idolized him. Did you do a lot of things together when you were children as a family? No, I don't remember that. We went, I remember my mother took us to the circus. My mother took us to She took us to a show on the... Was to a show? Yeah. She took saw Molly Pecan. Oh, yeah. boy. Of course. I remember from the name of the show. A Golden Soldat. Oh, boy. A Golden Soldier. Wow. And it was, well, a, it was a Yiddish show? On Second Avenue, yeah. yeah. Wow. Where were your parents born? Oh, in Russia. Polish Russia was changed, not Polish, I mean Russia. My mom spoke Polish also. She spoke about three different languages. Well, which they one? They both I'm... came in a different, they weren't married, they were married here. In so they, they came here not knowing each other? Not knowing, but the families knew each other, hmm. but they didn't know each other. And what was their meeting like? Was it arranged? Well, or? My mother went to night school, she wanted to learn English. And my father registered, and he went once, and he met my mother, and he knew a few of the girls there. So he was embarrassed to go there, so he dropped down. Mm -hmm. So the end was that my mother was a smart one. She kept all the books. Everything mm -hmm. was in her head, every phone number. She remembered. She wow. was there. And he didn't, he couldn't really, you know, do that. But he, he did. I can't describe how good he was. Mm -hmm. What he did for her, there was another man in the world that would do the, that much for a woman that was so crippled up with arthritis. Your mother? Yeah. Yeah. At that time, they didn't have wheelchairs. But they were so good to us. Or, or walking. Wheel, uh, what do you call that? Wheel oh, chairs. Chairs. Yeah. Hmm. But they were so good to us that I remember the teenagers older, when we were 18 or so, we started going out and we ate supper. So my mother used to say, children, it's your time to run. Don't worry about the dishes. I'll be nice to do it. Mm. And I'll never forget that, how kind that was of them to do it. So he made a special. Today they sell those chairs, but he was such a good a woodworker mechanic, he made her a chair that can go up to the seat that she can sit down and wash, and he would dry the dishes. Uh, you remember the long shoehorn he made for her? Huh? He made a shoehorn. From, I have the uh, the magnet that he made for pins. Oh, I still have it. It's made like a shoehorn. I have it. I use it all the time. Mm. The wow. magnet he made. Yeah. I left it at 214. No, I think I have that magnet. Yeah, a big one like a shoe. Yeah, I have that magnet. Oh, I home. remember seeing that. He he made once a box of little I don't know what you call little it. Pieces of wood. Little pieces inlays. of wood. Oh anyway, put together like a like a cigar yeah. box the size to open up the cover. It was like an antique. Do you still have piece that? Of art. No, he gave it to my brother. Uh, and he gave it to me. Yeah. Uh, Joe has this shoe, shoe box that Grandpa made. Yes. And he made a shoe box. He made that shoe box for me and Barry to go out and shine shoes and to make money. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what was it? It sounds like a happy childhood then, right? A happy what? Childhood that you had. Oh yeah, we were happy. 
I know we got a dollar when a dollar, a penny when we came home from school for candy. They had lollipops too for a penny. On one stick or two we used to share it. So we got a penny spending money every day. But we don't want them. I think they were very good children. My sister very, very wasn't good. close. My you sister know? wasn't friends with us. Mm. Right, Rose was. I never hear about the sister. She was like the she did her own thing. I think. Did you know her? Oh, very well. In fact, as a teenager, when my mother.